What's up guys? This is the Nvidia Shield TV, and it might just be the best streaming device for the money on the market right now. Don't let the weird circular design fool you, this is actually a really cool piece of tech, with a lot of interesting features perfect for streaming enthusiasts. But it is a few years old now, and with other cheaper streaming alternatives, is it everything it's made out to be? In this video, we're going over what the Nvidia Shield TV is all about, seeing who this product would actually be good for, how it compares to the competition, and what it's like to actually use the device. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. Right out of the box, the Nvidia Shield TV has an intuitive setup process that doesn't take very much time. You can power it up with the adapter that's included, and it connects to your TV through the HDMI port, but it doesn't come with its own HDMI cable. After you've connected, just power on the device and either quickly connect using an Android or manually connect using your Google email and connect through Wi-Fi. Once you've set it up, you can select your favorite apps like YouTube, Hulu, Spotify, Twitch, Netflix, and pretty much every other streaming app that you might have. Now that you're set up, at the top you'll have fast access to your favorites. You can add or adjust what's shown here based on your preference. Below you'll have fast access to typically Netflix and YouTube after installing it so you can quickly use those platforms. All of this is fully customizable and if you go to the device's preferences and then home screen and customize channels, you'll be able to adjust this exactly to your liking. Now into what this product is all about. It has an unobtrusive cylindrical design with a compact form factor that's designed to rest just below your TV and it's robust enough to stay in place even when it's plugged in. It comes with a decent range of connectivity options considering its size, and it includes a power port and an ethernet port and an HDMI port and a micro SD card slot, but I honestly would have preferred to see a USB port. The dual band Wi-Fi technology provides a very stable connection, and I like that it also has Bluetooth 5.0 compatibility, which makes it easy to pair with gaming peripherals. If you're looking for a streamer with more ports, then the higher end Shield TV Pro does come with two USB ports and better specs but it does cost quite a bit more while delivering comparable performance. You should know that it runs an improved version of the Android TV operating system. Like I talked about before, it allows you to customize the home screen to your liking, and it organizes your favorite apps and content into rows to keep your preferred media easily accessible, which makes it very easy to navigate. The interface has thousands of apps and supports most major streaming channels, including Netflix, Amazon Video, and Spotify. It doesn't support Plex media servers, like the Shield TV Pro, but I like that your apps are routinely updated. It also has a built-in Chromecast feature that allows you to conveniently stream content from your other devices to your TV screen. For anyone who wants a cheaper alternative, the Roku Ultra offers an impressive image quality and a robust search feature, but it doesn't run games as well. I think that the Nvidia games menu is a solid addition and it does give you access to several Android-based games. It also comes with GeForce Now, which is Nvidia's free game streaming service that gives you a selection of free titles to play. It also lets you stream games from your private server with stunning resolution and impressive frame rates, and you can log into your Steam account to stream games that you've already purchased without needing your PC. Unfortunately, not all of the titles are compatible, and the performance can be pretty inconsistent, but it does handle games with minimal latency, and it also has a game stream feature to stream games from your PC with the compatible NVIDIA GPU, along with the Streamlink app, which is pretty sweet and actually something I might use. If you're enjoying this video and learning something about the NVIDIA Shield TV, be sure to give the video a like, it really helps the channel out, and if you're interested in updated pricing, be sure to check out the links in the description. It also has a powerful Tegra X1 processor, 256 core GPU, and two gigabytes of RAM to deliver an impressive performance with no noticeable pop-in issues when switching between apps. Seriously, this is better than some laptops. Well, not really, but it's comparable. The picture quality lives up to the hype and it loads 4K HDR content faster than many of the cheaper competitors to produce a stunning detailed image. I like that it supports Dolby Vision and Atmos, which provides a more immersive viewing experience. I also thought that the AI upscaling noticeably improved the picture quality of SDR content. Even though it can be pretty aggressive at times, you do get three levels to suit your preference. But a friendly reminder, don't AI upscale a movie, as already been done. The triangular shaped remote feels comfortable in your hand and it produces a standard media controls as well as a dedicated Netflix button. I like that it has an automatic backlit feature that improves visibility in darker conditions and it has a useful find my remote function on the menu. It's also nice that it runs on AA batteries, which 
is a step up from the previous model, but I would have honestly preferred a rechargeable battery. It also has a built-in microphone with Google Assistant support, so you can program routines and control a limited number of smart devices, but it's also prone to misinterpreting commands on occasion, and you can also set it up with an Alexa if you need to. Overall, the Nvidia Shield TV is a high quality streaming box that excels at just about everything, with impressive AI upscaling for better image quality, an intuitive interface, and outstanding gaming performance, it's easy to see why there's so much hype. If you wanted something a little bit more premium that touches on some of the shortcomings, then the Nvidia Shield TV Pro has more ports and slightly more powerful performance for serious gamers. However, the Nvidia Shield TV's versatile performance and wide app selection will satisfy most people's needs, and I think it's an excellent option if you don't need the extra power of the Pro. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all the items mentioned, check out the description. And if you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.